going to make as we shift through this month and we move forward and we have i think it, yes we have the new moon on the uh 4th of december and we have the eclipse as well so the energy of the eclipse and the 4th of december that comes in and what they're saying is there will be a real big shift in your energy again there will be this big shift in your energy now what they're saying is when you have this big shift in your energy some of you will feel a little bit out of balance so your human body might feel this shift now we know the weekend over the last couple of days there's been this jittery feeling in some of your energies uh but again because there's this big shift that's happening energetically it's a bit thank you but just it's a bit like when you change into a new diet a new food uh, in your body and how your body feels so this is what's going to be happening you may feel that jitteriness you may feel these emotions that are swelled up you might find the interaction with individuals around you a little bit uneasy uh, because there is stuff that still needs to keep coming up okay thank you they know that you're aware of this last year in particular year and a half there's been a lot of shift of energy there's been a lot come up within your emotions there's been a lot coming up in your relationships so be prepared for more of that but what they want to say is it's also about you now need to make sure you're consciously aware you need to take time for you you have to you know when we say self-care they don't mean literally you know you just say yeah yeah self-care blah 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 but not doing the self-care very very important right now because many of you will be feeling this jitter energy. Many will you be feeling leading up to this new moon when we move forward of what's going to happen. Now, it's good to have a new moon because we can move forward in some ideas and what we want to do. I wouldn't say this is the time for new, um, new, what should we say, projects or big things like that. I would say this is more about what it is that if you're setting the foundation of what it is you want to come thank you they just said throughout december and as we move into the new year you will have the energy now as we move forward for this december to move forward to, to carry you through but what they're saying is you need to be prepared about taking care of yourself so it means at the moment you might need the more sleep okay thank you they just said there's many of you that don't drink enough water there's many of you that are still the diet the food they've said this before you need to look at the food that you're eating as well very very important right now okay thank you and then they go back also to being the authentic self to be be mindful of being aware of how you feel about making a decision or those who try to make decisions for you or around you at this time because it has to be coming from a place within your heart what feels right for you so this is about when you hear things that don't feel comfortable for you or the particular situation somebody might force you into at this moment leading on this is really going to be about finding your voice and really making sure that everybody is aware of how you're feeling in a sense of what feels right for you so it's about really coming into your space of how you're feeling internally within your heart right now very 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 important okay thank you okay um and also what they're saying to me is okay thank you the more that you uh feel comfortable within your authentic self doing things that you want to do for you you will become more aware of those around you who fit within your space okay that will feel right that feel connected to you it will be more of when you become more aware of yourself then the energy that you send out it will okay thank you they just said i'm just checking in with them it will change the planet's wave of energy on the planet as well it will help with this feeling of feeling panicky fearful of change but it's more about you looking about your space how you're feeling so that it affects the rest of the planet so it's it, in a good way because it will help to balance the rest of the planet so i think they just said to me also there's many more of you that we wish to send out into nature so to really find your grounding being in nature it's going to be very important at this time to connect with nature okay thank you they just said about the the storms that we're having on the planet at this moment and the disruption okay thank you they 
the disruption on the planet of the uh, nature it's about bringing people together it's about the community it's about connecting people thank you they just said when you've had wars you've all checked in with each other you've rallied around taking care of one another to some degree so when you have a storm it's very much and the natural disasters it's about then what happens afterwards it's about the rebuilding and this is what's happening so the storm of the energy on the planet right now, the wave that's happening with everything that's changing around us is about bringing communities together, not separating them. This is what they're saying. And this is why it's important that through we do not work within fear as in to look at how you're feeling so that you can make those changes. So internally within your energy stream. Okay, thank you. They're talking about also about each and every one of you uh, you leave an echo a footprint of your energy and i've said this before you know uh when you're in a certain area that you leave this echo so for instance i've said this where you know if i've been on a train i tend to wipe the seat away pretend there's dust but it's energy of the other person just purely because they might be in a bad mood or they're feeling down i don't want to be picking up on their energy field because i'm quite sensitive with that and many more of you are on your on your planet they just said so it's more about being aware of your own energy field okay thank you um and they also sort of yeah okay thank you um with your own energy field that you will attract like for like so for instance on saturday evening or yes it was saturday evening they're just checking in i said yes saturday I said yeah it is on saturday evening i went out in central london and it was really strange i put everything on that i you know was doing on saturday evening i was looking at the lights it was so beautiful seeing the christmas lights and i put something on my instagram um and on my facebook page and uh within a very short time a couple of people that uh who follow me said oh my god i was in that vicinity the same vicinity at the same time we didn't we didn't know we didn't we didn't know you were there but what happens is you start becoming um like the cluster of energy you start magnetizing you send out this ripple of energy around of how you're feeling it's like somebody else feels the same sort of energy and they can end up being in the same space as you very similar to if you're thinking of a, a friend or a loved one or family member and then they phone you so each of us i can think of, are sending out the energy around us so you will get those people who say oh, i was in the same vicinity i had about five people on saturday night i didn't know they were going um, and they were in the same place um, and then they contacted me like, yeah, we're just here, and we're, whatever. But you leave that echo, like a footprint of the echo of your energy there. So that's why it's important in a sense to know where you are in yourself, how you're feeling, so that the energy that you're vibrating. Okay, thank you. Now, they just said, this doesn't help the people that might be feeling low or have family situations going on at this moment or uh, are being poked and prodded in a sense of uh, being triggered by what's going on internally within the family. Uh, okay, thank you. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so, okay. They're just saying to me, family are more than just blood, or you may be married into a family, which is not blood, but they're just saying it's about the links of the individuals within your family. They are the chain of what uh, links you into them. Okay, what do they mean? Let's have a little look. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, we'll do it like that. Okay, um, so what they're showing me is uh, with family, families that you are connected to, they're, okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Each family plays out an energy, like a tune, uh, like an energy vibration within the family so this may be uh, blood related or unblood related they're saying but it feels as if what they're saying is that whatever's been playing out the story of the family they just said the story of the family so depending on what's going on within the family ancestrally it can be linked so uh, okay thank you it's like a, a not just a marriage on paper but it's like uh, how you're linked so they show me links so it's like whatever runs through one side of the family and then through the other side of the family so say so the mother side of the family the father side of the family whatever was the story that was playing out you end up being magnetized uh, joining forces okay what do they mean okay thank you oh okay thank you ah got it thank you so um example saturday um i met a few people 
somebody said to me that uh, they knew I was a therapist and asked me a question that they had been going through some issues in their relationship um, and uh, I think they just wanted to see what I would come up with um, when I was communicating with them. What I was being told is that to, if you're having issues, it's about look at that partner. What is that partner showing you about yourself? So switch it around. So instead of having a go at that individual, as in, you know, they might, I, I was saying this to somebody today about somebody brings out the worst of me, I admit, somebody does bring out the worst of me, but it was about looking at what it is that is triggering within me. And it was the same as this person asked me about their relationship. And I said to her, this isn't about a band-aid or a plaster to put on it to sort of say, okay, so we'll go out on more dates or we'll spend more time together. It wasn't that. I said to them, but you need to look at what is this person showing you? What is he showing you by his behavior towards you? What is it triggering? What is it bringing up for you? Um, and I think she understood to some degree. And it was about then, it's, it's almost like a blessing. It's almost like, well, being grateful in a sense of seeing or feeling of what's coming up for you through the, the you know the the interaction of the relationship that so that you can work on yourself and that's for myself as well i know the relationship i've come out of um of this person how it triggers me i'm looking at that myself what is it showing me about myself what is it that i need to look at within myself what have they brought up for me that i need to look at and they're saying this happens with family so one side of the family the other side of the family when they marry it's like a contract in a sense karmically it's a contract to actually look at what needs processing within your dna needs processing within your energy fields and this is what they're saying okay all right Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. I need to bring this up. And um, they're also talking about uh, self care, self love, very much at the moment with Venus around us right now on the planets. Very important as we move forward. This is the time that we've got to take that self love. I think this is what they've really been talking about. That being authentic to yourself. Very much about knowing when you're tired, knowing when you need time out, knowing you know that gut feeling of the food that you need in your diet seems to be. Oh, okay, thank you, important. They also said there are a number of you that have had digestive issues and they're saying it's about what you are digesting. It's about what is happening for you in your life right now, about what are you digesting, what doesn't feel right for you, what is toxic, what is it that's you know, upsetting your system. It's about looking at that. You're losing your energy through that. Something internally, it's the words you're hearing and it's the words that you are digesting through your system. If something feels uncomfortable, it's about what you are processing right now for you. This is what they're saying. Okay, thank you. But they really wanna make sure that, okay, one of the things that you do, especially over the next week, okay, they've gone to this now, that you, ask for information and you start tuning your ears into what you may be receiving so if something a word comes up or you overhear a conversation or you're listening to the radio or you're listening to music if there's certain words in there that really reson reson resonate for you then you know they are meant for you and so you know some of you be aware of how your ears are tuning in more reason for that is so that then you can start being more guided by spirit by the divine by the universe and that they, they can start guiding you more and more so this is something to look out for something to be aware of okay let me have a little look oh okay thank you okay they also just said very important there are many of you that want to move forward we understand but there are also many of you that are holding on to energy blockages right now so okay, thank you. they said yes you can come to Anne and she can look at where she thinks you're heading as a psychic medium she can give you the information that she may see where you may end up but uh, if you do not make those changes you cannot end up being where you need to be but also where you're at in yourself energetically there is a line of a pathway where you may end up going but you can change that okay thank you there i've had some clients come into me recently um as coaching them and they've been a little bit stuck so it's about looking at their energy okay thank you um and they've just brought me back to the digestive thing again about your energy blockages with internally within your body if you are not listening to us your body's going to feel certain energy that will be blocked within your 
body and so then your body is going to be saying to you this is what's going on for you so there may be some of you that may be feeling sick stomach issues digestive issues um i thank you and they also just said like constipation bowel issues uh, but again if you have any of those um always check out medically first and then look at the energy behind that yeah <laughs>